and today with a KVM docking station which is different from everything that we have seen so far and I'm giving you a spoiler of all the connectivity now these are the ones that are really important because we will only need one single USB type-c cable to connect to each of the laptops that we want to control several peripherals to displays up to 4k 60 hertz and if I connect anything to this docking station KVM like an SD card I will be able to access on any of the laptops that I've got connected with only one cable that being said let's go and take a closer look at it and if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description it will get even cheaper and besides Windows 11 Pro if you are looking for Windows 10 or even an office suit that we can and aggregate directly to our Microsoft account you can use the same coupon code which will give you the best price possible at this moment so just in case the link will be down below this is the AV Access iDoc C20 which is really well built all brushed aluminium it comes in a package with all the accessories that we need actually it's a simple package it comes with the power adapter it comes with two USB type-c cables a user guide which is really straightforward and also the most important which is the docking station KV yeah. Now, this is targeted at a different setup, which is not very common. Someone that uses two laptops and wants to use two displays and, of course, wants to connect one SD card and one keyboard and one mouse only to control everything and then in an easy way transfer from one laptop to the other without having to mess cables and whatnot this is a perfect solution we have seen a lot of docking stations kvms but this is the first time that we see one that is completely usb type c which means that i only need to connect one single cable to any of the laptops and i will be able to connect everything so if i'm connected to one laptop and i put this right over here which we will go right over there to my setup in just a moment to share that with you i will be able to access with only putting right over here without having to mess with cables and whatnot which is great now in terms of connectivity here at the front we will find two usb 2.0 ports which are meant for the peripherals mouse and keyboard we also have a audio output and then an sd card slot usb type c 3.0 which we can use to charge any device or if we want to connect an ssd or if we want to connect for example one usb c pen drive we can actually this pen drive is great because if i put it like this i can connect it right over here on usb type a as well this is just awesome now at the back we will also find the power input jack a ethernet uh, port with one gigabit speed then we have two usb 3.0 ports below two HDMI outputs that will do 4K at 60 Hz each and of course this will only be limited if our laptop is not capable of achieving that but having in mind that your laptop does like mine then you will be just fine then we have a extended control port which I didn't use so far I will need to try it out and see what it does then there's also two USB 2.0 ports that we can connect to other peripherals limited at 480 megabits per second of bandwidth so if we want to use ssds and faster devices then we should use the usb 3 uh, type a or usb 3.0 type c and then lastly we have the two connections which to me are those that will give us a great experience because we only need one single cable and these are the usb type c in one and usb type c in two which we will connect one cable to each of the laptops that we are using and that is it there is no mess in terms of cables actually you will see a little bit of mess because i had a lot of things connected at the back but in terms of connectivity to the laptops is just one cable to one laptop one cable to the other laptop and that is it everything else 
will be connected to our displays, to our mouse, keyboard, SSDs, and whatnot. And that being said, let's go and take a look at the iDoc C20 on my setup and see how easy it is to manage it. And now with an example setup, and I've got connected the iDoc C20, and the beauty or one of the great things is that there's only one cable going to this laptop right over here and only one cable going to this laptop right over here. Now I can connect everything centralized right over here and I don't need to worry in being connected things to the laptops. Once I finish my work, if I want to go away and take one of my laptops, I just need to remove the cable, bring the laptop with me and that is it. Once I arrive, I just need to connect the cable once again. I will have all my peripherals using only one keyboard, one mouse. At this moment, I've, con I've connected an SSD, I've got an SD card, and uh, we could also connect USB type A or in this particular case, USB type C, which is really cool on this USB drive. And to this place. Although this is a super or ultra wide, it is configured to be displayed as two and I will share that with you in just a few moments. So this is the setup that we have and in terms of using it is as simple as this. At this moment, if I wanted to have one of these laptops connected to to this place, I would need two HDMI cables right over here or any docking station that would allow me to connect two cables. I would need to connect one SSD. I would need to connect the SD card. So a lot of stuff connected to one of the laptops. And then if I wanted to change between laptops, I would need to disconnect everything and connect right over here, which is really, really a waste of time and it's just a headache. At this moment, with only one cable, I can connect my keyboard and mouse and I can control everything. And by the way, I've got two displays, as I said. If I press identify, you will see number one and number two right over here. So two displays and right over here, we can also have the two displays. So this is an ultra wide capable of having two individual inputs so I can treat it as individual. By the way, we can go up to 4K at 60 Hertz with these outputs. 20 gigabits of bandwidth right over here, which is a lot. So in terms of the peripherals, it's as easy as this. In terms of speeds, these are USB 3.0 connectivity. So we are talking about a maximum of 500 megabytes per second reads and on writes, and also the Ethernet connection as one gigabit. Now we can start with that. If I press right over here, my connection is not one gigabit. Actually, my connection on the house is one gigabit. I've got parts which is 10 gigabits, but to my internet provider is only 500 megabits per second. So that's the maximum that I'm reaching right now, 500 megabits per second on downloads and on upload only 100 and something. So we are getting about 130, which is the maximum of my ISP. On the other hand, I've got right over here the SSD. So we can test it out. If I press start, it will have a maximum of 500 megabytes per second reads and on writes, but depending on the SSD, that we are using. This one is reaching the maximum speed, which is about 400 megabytes per second on the reads and on the writes a little bit slower. So we can just stop this. Or we can also see right over here on my computer that I've got three drives. So the C drive, which is the operating system, and then we have the SD card, which is connected right over here. I just did disconnect and as we can see, it did disappear. And if I disconnect the SSD, it will disappear from my computer as well. Right now, if I connect the SSD, obviously it will connect. And if I connect the SD cards, it will also connect and we'll see it right over here. So we have just one place to plug in everything and then control the devices. Once I do finish my work on this laptop and I want to transit to the other laptop, the only thing that I need to do is to press this button and we have a LED right over here that indicates computer number one and computer number two. I'm not really sure if I can show you that, but once I press it, it will transit everything to the other computer. Now I do have different colors on the desktop so that we can differentiate between one laptop and the other laptop. So we've got right over here the Windows 
drive and then the SD cards and the SSD. So if we do the same, if I just disconnect the SD card, it will disappear from this computer. And if I disconnect the SSD, it will disappear from this computer. Now let's plug them in once again and let's plug in the SD cards once again. In this particular computer is uh, automated to open whatever we connect so that we can access. And this is not usually my work computer, so I'm not going to mess around. I'm going to leave it as it is. But just to show that I can just use the SD card right now, right over here or I can use the SSD connected to the laptop and the beauty of it is that I didn't need to connect or disconnect anything from the individual laptops only right over here on the iDoc C20 which is centralizing everything. So in terms of speeds we will get the same thing on this laptop but in terms of usability once I finish right over here I just need to change it will change both displays right over here which as I mentioned we can rearrange the displays as we want and I will have the SD card ready to be used on this computer. So if I want to transfer something from this computer for example I just need to drag it right over here and let's create right over here for example a text folder saying a text file saying text file new so just going to do this and right now if i go to the other computer basically what we are going to have is that on the sd card and you can see it right over here on this angle crawler we have the text file new that and let me close this one text file new that we just created on the sd cards on the other computer computer number one in this particular case and basically that is it now there is one limitation that i want to share with you which is if we are a windows user then we can use the full setup with everything and it will work great on the other hand if we are a mac os user there is one limitation which is in terms of the displays we will not be able to have extended displays just talking about the new m1 m2 m3 or m4 for MacBook Pro or Mac Mini or whatever we want to use, these are the limitations that we will find on Mac OS. If you still have a Mac OS with an Intel CPU, you will be fine. You will be able to have the two displays. Otherwise, if you have a ARM CPU based Mac, then that's not possible. That's the only limitation that I found. Everything else in terms of Windows and in terms of the connectivity, just great. One keyboard, one mouse, everything right over here to this place and the beauty is one single cable to rule them all and that is it easy as this to manage two laptops two displays one keyboard one mouse to rule everything and besides that we have the freedom to connect any peripheral any storage unit anything that we want and then transfer from one laptop to the other with just one press of button and if this is the setup that you have at home then this is at this moment the only solution that I did see using only one cable USB type C each. Not really sure if I did mention but it will charge the laptops at the same time simultaneously up to 60 watts each laptop so we are more than fine for any normal laptop. The only exception will be probably those gaming laptops that if they consume more than 60 watts the battery will not charge as fast as it will deplete if we are in an intensive gaming session. So just have that in mind. If that computer is yours you also have the option to connect the power supply to the computer and that will be it. Just one extra cable. That being said, hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you on the next one.